Guys, what's up? Levi the Pearl. Gotta wear this mask. Check this out. What's going on? What's going on, guys? This is Levi Pearl. All right, so right now what you're looking at is image on the computer, image printed on the Epson 7710 workforce, and the mug where the image is going to go to. So that's a sublimated mug I got right here. Let me turn the camera around. I got a guess. So hold on one second, okay? All right. Hi. Hey. How are you doing, guys? This is Salah. Today, I'm like with my friends to see how that's going. Like to do a print and like uh, doing the mugs. I'm so excited to see the result too. Like you guys. <laughs> nice. Hey guys, what's going on? As you can see, this is Levi Pearl. Please like and subscribe, all right? Let me fix the camera. There we go. Uh -huh. Bring out an angle so we can see us. Yeah. All right, cool. So, yeah, this is Levi Pearl. Please like and subscribe. And as you saw in the um, clip, we're about to um, make a mug. We're wearing the mask for, you know, safety and all that. Yeah. Social distancing, you know? Um, but yeah, here we are at the shop. Um, you know, I'm with Sarah. Right? Salah, yeah. Oh, Salah, my yeah. apologies. So I'm with Salah, <laughs> and uh, he's here. Uh, basically, the process of him being here is he's um, learning the shop, and he's going to start his own thing pretty soon. He wanted to know what's going on and uh, mm -hmm. how to get started. So he's at the shop. He's going to be using this place for a little bit, making his stuff, and then eventually get his own equipment and get started. Yeah. All right? Yeah, thank you so much, man. I appreciate your help. All right, well... <laughs> It's here. We're called Levi Pearl and we're here to help. All right. All right, cool. So um as you saw in the beginning, we're gonna be doing um mugs. I have the image ready. I printed the the logo. So let's get started on making the mug, all right? All right, guys. So we're about to turn the heat press machine on. We're gonna be using this mug press that's right here. Let me bring it closer. All right, this is the mug press. All right, so once the mug is in there, I close it, the countdown starts, and it's good to go. Okay, so oh, it looks like it's a little dusty. Let me wipe it down. All right, so for this, you're going to need obviously a mug press, you're gonna need um, heat tape, and then the mug with the submission paper. All right, now, gonna pause real quick. Did I pause? All right, guys, so first thing you gotta do is you gotta unhook this right here. I don't know if you can see it, hopefully you can. So you gotta unhook this right here that's hooked onto this right there. Um, let's turn this on. This is turned on. All right, so it's going to be heated up. There we go. So for sublimation, oh, sorry, let me show you what I'm doing right now. All right. Basically, we're gonna take this mug press and we're gonna hook it up to this. And then we're just gonna let the thing just count down. So nice hooked up, all right? Gonna put it to the side. Let me show you. So now we have the mug pressed to the side. We're gonna get the mug and the image. All right, guys. So in order to do a mug press, you need your image, your submission image. You need the mug. You need heat tape. And you need scissors, all right? Um, the only reason why I have scissors is because I have two mug images here. 
and that's pretty much it. So just cut out the part that you need. All right, cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So these two are one mug. All right. So that's one mug. Can you grab the other mug for me, please? Mm -hmm. okay. And then this is another mug. So whenever you're doing sublimation, you want it to be at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, you want it to be at 400 degrees Fahrenheit at 60 seconds, which is pretty much one minute. Okay. So let's get this fixed and ready. All right, guys. So... Uh, okay, let me see the tape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so again, we use the, the heat tape to tape it. We use the scissors to make sure everything's cut properly. So the name is right here. The image is here and there. Now we're going to heat press it. Um, I don't know if you can see the tape, but if you can see the tape, you want to cut as many of these as you can, put them aside. So on your next mug, you can do the same thing. You can just tape all around. All right, hold on. If you know what, forget it. Um, so next step is just put it inside your, your, mug, your heat press um, for your mug, your mug press, which is this right here, the one I'm pointing to. Um, the temperature is at the right temperature. You just want to slide it in. All right, when you slide it in, you want to make sure that all parts of the image has excess to heat because if any piece of it does not have excess to heat then it's not going to be properly um, transferred so now once you push the lever forward you're heat pressing it um, what I always do when I push the lever forward and it's, it begins the heat pressing process um, I leave the temperature to go down a little bit and so it can catch itself. Once it goes down low enough, it's going the, the machine, the heat press machine is going to realize the temperature that is supposed to be compared to the temperature um, it is, is not the right temperature. Basically, the mug is cold and because the mug is cold, there's a loss of temperature in the um, temperature reading. So the temperature reading is gonna try to go to what the temperature is currently with the mug, and then it's gonna go back up as you can see right here. And then once it gets to 400 degrees Fahrenheit again, it's going to beep to let me know it's back at regular temperature. And once it's back at regular temperature, I'll start the little um, enter button to begin the heat pre pressing process and then um, the mug will get sublimated and it'll count down. It's okay if you leave the mug on there while it's doing its thing, trying to bring up the temperature because the more heat you give the mug, the better it is for you to do um, the sub for the sublimation ink to sublimate. The less heat you give the mug, the less it will sublimate all the ink on onto the mug, the sublimated mug. All right, cool. So it's reached the 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna press the enter button and now it's counting down. All right, 60 seconds, we'll check back. All right, we are back. All right, so what happened was the, the machine went off letting me know it's already been 60 seconds. We're going to turn it off. Um, before I do, excuse me, one second. All right. 
cool. So before I do, I forgot to tell you, on top of having the scissors, the tape, you know, the product you need, you're gonna need some gloves. These are like special heat gloves. You can get them anywhere. Um, Joann's, Michael's, or you could just go to uh, any dollar store. All right. Don't worry about the amount of time the heat is on the um, the mug while it's sublimating the ink. It the longer the better. All right. So if you start to see the image on it, that means it did a good job. All right. Again, please make sure you have. Uh, Heat protected gloves. You don't want to slide the image. Damn, there we go. This is one image. Wow. All right, I'll get that later. This thing is hot. Yeah. Okay. This is the name. This is the next image. So here we go. Actually, it came out really nice. So. The tape will remove the tape, but this is Marcia. This is her name, her mug, and that's mug number one. All right, I gotta go do the other mug. This took a minute to do, but it's here. We got it done, and that was done with the um, heat press machine. Um, I used the mug press that was plugged onto this, and uh, we got the image done. Here it is. All right, looks nice. All right, so let me remove this. Now, there's nothing you can do to the image. It's there permanently. The name is there permanently. Everything is. All right. So, sometimes when you get little stuff like this, you just wipe it off and it'll come off. But um, there it is. Bam, sublimation. You see it? There it is. All right. So I had the name at an angle on purpose, so you know. All right. So that's sublimation ink on sublimated mug. All right. Please like and subscribe. This is Levi Apparel. All right. Here with my friend. This is very cool. And it was like me. It's like, like fresh me this this result. I'm like I've never seen that mug like that. It looks very good. Oh yeah. Is it hot? No. Okay, so you can just show it to them. Ah, it's very nice result. Turn it to the side. The Clear other side. and net. Yeah, and nothing coming off. That's it. That's like. That's it. That's sublimation mug. Hi <laughs> right, guys, please like and subscribe. This is Levi Apparel. All right, please like and subscribe. Levi Apparel, and we are out. Oh, by the way, I grabbed this from the um, from the basement of the house, brought it here to the shop, and it's here. These are my vinyls, and on the other side, that's my, uh, those are also vinyls, but they're like sticker vinyls. All right, so Levi Pill, please like and subscribe.